Let me show you something. Oh, 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 oh. The approved plans. Here we are. All right. And I'm presenting them to Mr. Maring. Put your hand on them. These are the approved plans from the city of Patterson. We are now completely and totally committed to the wallet extraction. There we go, we got it, all the money. <laughs> Pearls of wisdom are just spewing. Yeah. So, yeah. Some people just bring it on themselves. They really do. I'm like, a, I'm a magnet of uh, abuse. So <laughs> here we are at the old water office, Patterson. I've got Joe, who we, we couldn't have done the project without Joe. He's the architect on the project. And then Mr. Maring and myself, we just got through passing our framing inspection, That's which is like one. the big deal. That's a huge. That's the, uh, the framing inspection basically says our mechanical that's inside the walls of this thing has been approved. Our fire sprinkler system has been approved. And now we're going to basically finish up the insulation in the next few days. And then we're going to button the walls up with the sheetrock. At that point, the ceilings will go in, which are going to be quite intricate. Once the ceilings get installed in, like it's going to look like an old Spanish monastery of some type with the stencil ceilings and so forth that you saw the grandchildren turning around and put it together, which is going to be just an amazing experience that the kids then painted that ceiling will come back 30 years from now and say, I helped my opa, you know, make that ceiling. So I'm so happy about that. We walk around, you can see Jake over here working on the filigree work. And we're just kind of walking through the restaurant right now and we're checking out the progress before we button the walls up. Joe, Mr. Maring are turning around and looking at it. We're having a, a fun conversation. It's kind of like a real great milestone that we've created here or gotten to this point. And now we're going to start layering it and putting the character on the building that is going to just make it have a feel like no other. Yeah, it's probably the biggest transformation is from this phase to the next phase. Once we cover up all the skeleton, if you yes. go with our skin. And, and then at that point, the aesthetics come in. Yeah, we start layering. And, and, and that's what Bob is famous for, is those layers to give it the depth and the architecture. and the. Well, I don't know if I'm famous for it. Okay, um, famous may be a bit of a word. Yeah, that, yeah, that might be a stretch. <laughs> yeah. The ceiling's going in now. I've been thinking about this. We've seen the uh, stencil party that the grandkids had to put the ceiling together. Now we're putting the beam together. This afternoon, we're gonna take a little bit of time and do one of our chandeliers. We're gonna mount a chandelier up that we manufactured in the shop. We've been seeing a few pictures of those. Chandelier that I saw in Sicily, we'll kind of show you where I got that idea from. I, I don't have very many original ideas, but I knock off a lot of stuff. So the thing is, is that this idea that I got was from a, a winery in Sicily. Don Falchuco, I believe is what it was or whatever. So we've got our place up here. We know where we're going to put it. And now we're going to basically put an eye hook in this thing. Larry's down getting it and we're going to go from there. And as you can see, they're starting to put in the little rheostats or transformers for the lighting. It's all LED lighting in there. And we're starting to flesh this thing out now, getting that ceiling in. The first cross beam's gone in over here. Those cross beams will be through the entire top of the uh, ceiling, creating a coffered effect where there's four squares and so forth. We're gonna highlight those while lighting inside those, basically put that thing together. We're starting to get a little bit of a feel for what's been going on in my walnut brain for a little bit of time. And uh, it's kind of gonna get exciting as it fleshes out. We get to texture the walls, paint the walls, start putting the eyebrow or the shades on that we found in Spain. If you'll remember, we were in Seville. We found these really unique uh, woven mats with, with the belts on them that we're gonna be putting on with the really old wood. Uh, that's gonna be fantastic for authenticity of the feel that we're trying to create here. It must be 10 feet now. You're at eight feet right there. What is it? I'm eight foot. I wouldn't go any lower. I mean, we can, but. Why not? There's usually nothing's under. I mean, you can go, you can. It's, it's up to you. I mean, the minimum is six, eight. Oh. So we can go another four or five inches lower. Well, the other thing is too, is we could, um, that's why I wanted to look at it. What we could do is adapt it and come down and cut those things down a little bit and then make a, you know, like um, readjust it in the shop 
You know, it's pretty big, but well, I want to see both of them up. Well, I thought of this because we had this window left, the hole for the west. You know, that staircase, it needs to be open and... No, I think that was one of the better treatments that we've done, is to open that up. Yeah, so... The, you the, start the, to see that... In the, that's in the, the old the old window, and we yeah. cut it down a little bit, but it is the old window. But it does position. draw... One, of, one of that, for what I'm thinking of right now when I look at that, is I look about the way we're going to be able to introduce light. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to be able to bathe that yeah. wall going along the back, and we're going to have a shadows that are going to be going on that wall, and you're in this room, and you're seeing through it's going to be visually stimulating with the when I can paint with the light. It's going to be just absolutely amazing what's going to happen in these filigree uh, as well. On the other side, light's going to bathe through um, from the lighting that's out here and with the chandelier in the middle coming in, it's going to create some shadowing effect. And I'm, I'm excited to see what happens when that comes together as well. Jake is going to be famous for generating these uh, filigree uh, window coverings. Absolutely just beautiful shop work these guys have put together. We're just so excited to see these go up. Mr. Maring loves it. And uh, as you look through it, you'll see a recurring theme. And the recurring theme is the theme of the heart and the love of Patterson and him creating this restaurant. A subliminal little message there. Absolutely fabulous. We're looking at the uh, intricacy of the Spanish ironwork and it's not simple, it's more ornate, it's more involved. So that's where we came up with this pattern here for the stairway going up and it really, really, really has a real beautiful feel to it in my opinion. So please, I think it's going to really show well. It's going to be beautiful and we're going to we have a nice room for a nice little table here. Be another little spot that I think we're going to be able to hook up a little too tall right against the wall here, <clears throat> out of the way. Now, everything doesn't go smooth. Sometimes you have some problems, sometimes miscommunication occurs on the job. One of the things we're really concerned about is hiding the sprinkler main infrastructure piping, but sometimes square peg, round hole, guys come in, they're doing work, we're not watching over them. Had to have a little powwow about what was going on. So let's take a look at the problem. I see any of the damn pipes. Now we see the damn pipes. Then we hear the story about why we have to see the pipes. So that story's going to change because we're telling the story that the pipes are not going to work. They're telling the story they are going to work. But here's the deal. When you're paying out, your story wins. I'm not buying those pipes exposed. Not we're not. Well, you're not buying it. We're not. It's all good. We're, it's going to be fine. I mean, the thing is, I don't want to, I, 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 we're not going to take any videos of the crying of the installation of the fire guys. We don't want any crying. We don't want any manhood deprivation going on. We just want to get the job done. So we're going to shield you, all the viewers, from the sprinkler guys crying in the parking lot about having to change the pipes. You don't have to watch that. Over here, Edward, they've got one more eyebrow they have to put up. I realize it's the back of the building. And I realize you're trying to slam the wallet shut, but you know, this is the only exterior window on the entire structure that will not have an eyebrow on it now. So I see no reason to pull in our horns at this point and wimp out and basically just like make a decision financially in relationship to what needs to happen where aesthetics is where we are going with this thing. Not the only outside window. Well, you no, know, the only outside window that doesn't have an eyebrow on it except the one over the dining room. Yeah, I guess we have enough scraps left. Oh, do we have enough scraps, everybody? Take a look at the scrap pile that Ed's thinking is limited to our ability to put an eyebrow over this window. I have to put down another redwood tree. I was, I was out on a side note. I was out at my... You're not looking at the camera. Did you want to put a sign on the back of the building too? No. Um, so the sign on the back of the building could go in this area right here, Ed. What do you think about that? Well, I can get my spray can and just spray one up. There. So like when you're out running around on the evening, you can just no. make a stop by here no. on your uh, tagging uh, no. uh, night. Yeah, I could tag it. Okay, you'll tag it? All right. You so is everybody going to Mexico yeah. now? Yeah. When are you going to be able to put the final coat on? You know, the first day. So there, that first New Year. 
Yeah. Like maybe every week in January? Yeah. The time it is. Good to know you. Yeah. The good weather. You got to figure out how to do it? Yeah, you told me last time. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Yeah. All right. You see that over there, this looks for the sign that for the letter. I'm going to go look at it right now. No. Yeah, so what he's doing now is we decided to put that door in and up on the door, he's basically feathering in the um, stucco so that we can turn around and put the final coat on. Oh, Do you like what I'm doing here? Yeah. Look at that, look at that eyebrow there. It just looks so old world. Yeah. That could be in yeah. Spain in yes. 1800, yeah. you know. Um, and that, that was kind of the feel that we're trying to achieve here is detail that is not done in commercial construction. Is that, or, or is the code, just to refresh my memory, four foot of cover? Yeah. Our death? Four foot? Yeah, our death is four foot, yeah. Four foot, yeah. you lay that down, we've got that sand out there, we'll lay a bit of sand all the way over the top of it, run caution tape on the top of that to indicate where it is, backfill it, we're good to go, right baby? 100%. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. That basically is probably when situations like that happen, institutes probably three or four cases of severe depression on construction crews uh, when they see that because a two of it's beer. a pain in the ass. What's that? Or a case or two of beer. Yeah, a case or two of beer, yeah. <laughs> probably, we, 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 that's, a, that's a four Modelo case uh, concrete there blowout go. right there. The construction is moving along pretty good. We've got the exterior of the building uh, all stuccoed and textured, and we're starting to put the ceiling tiles on. The ceiling inside is coming together, and now our pain power feed that's behind me is uh, coming in to power up the building. It's gonna start moving a little bit quicker now, and a lot of things are gonna be happening at a faster pace, so I can't wait to share with you the final details that we start to put together as we pick the carpet, as we pick the, uh, the texture of the walls, as we paint the interior walls, the selection of the silverware, the selection of the plates, the selection of the glassware, the way that the bar is put together. All of the aesthetical things that you're gonna visually see stimulated from when you walk into the restaurant is gonna be a very soothing experience. It's gonna be very comforting. And the acoustics hopefully make it so you communicate with whoever you're with and we can just have you escape into a different time for your meal when you visit the old water office in uh, Patterson, California.